How's it going guys, Peter Boy Scooter is back with another video and today we have an update to Cryptex one month painting competition slash challenge. So what I've done so far is I've essentially airbrushed all of the cream colours onto the um, veterans clo cloth pieces and then I've given it a wash with Agrax Earthshade. So that's what I've done with about half of them so far when I've done is I've also pretty much finished up five as I'll be um, painting in sort of batches of five just to keep it nice and small and easy to work with so this was the first test model that I did for the scheme and it was quite interesting trying to mix the color scheme which I've mostly, mainly based off or worked with on my tank so far and I haven't exactly tested on infantry so it took a little bit of tinkering with to get it to a stage which I'm happy with so the armor is a bluey grey that's been weathered up and then washed I think it's come out really nicely the fatigues are just Karak stone that's been washed with Agrax O-Shade and then highlighted back up the boots are just normal black I think I've missed a wash on that grenade there but I'll just go to that in a minute the medals are mod oh, Vallejo Model Air um, silver mixed in with a little bit of black just to darken it down a bit It's really easy to see the amount of detail that Forge World has in comparison to the normal GW miniatures. Also, these four here aren't exactly finished yet, so I just need to, for this one, I just need to put the brass onto the flamer and weather it a bit. I really like the skin that I've done on these models as it's a really sort of pale skin. In terms of vehicles, so far I've finished off the Sentinel completely with this OSL, which is um, just two model air colours, white and blue, which I've mixed in gradations. I think that came out really nicely and adds a little bit of pop to the miniature. And I've also airbrushed silver onto this dozer blade and then based up that bit using red. And I've tried out one of the stencils which I received and cut it custom on the back of this. So there it is. And also I'm going to um, be weathering this part of the tank down the bottom. So that sort of mistake there is going to be covered up. Also, if you'd like to see a tutorial on how to airbrush this OSL, I'm going to be painting up the weapons for the Lehman Rush, which is an executioner cannon and two plasma cannons. So, thanks for watching. As always, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and also go check out Cryptex channel down below.